to all those who devoted their lives to aviation. The Wings of Russia Studio presents Wings of Russia documentary. Apart from aircraft, gliders were thought to be used for transportation tasks. They were simple to build and cost efficient. Several types of gliders were being produced in series. most unusual projects were offered. Thus, Oleg Antonov offered an idea of a flying tank. Wings were supposed to be mated to a light tank and it would then be towed by an aircraft as a glider. Tests were performed, although they had no practical result. Review of the wartime assault operations, especially those in Normandy, where an enormous number of assault gliders were used, influenced the creation of similar machines in the USSR. That's how C-25 glider designed by Pavel Tsibin and Yak-14 glider of Alexander Yakovlev appeared. While the first of them could take around two tons of cargo on board, the payload of the other was twice as much. A spacious cabin allowed Yak-14 to carry two trucks with cannons and automobiles, what no other aircraft on service at that time could do. In the growing confrontation between the USSR and USA in the 40s, the Arctic region started to gain a lot of importance. Exploration of the polar areas could hardly be achieved without the transport aviation. In spring 1948, a high-latitude expedition on Lee-2 aircraft took place. Two years later, a unique operation was performed. Aircraft towing gliders went toward the Northern Pole. They were carrying cargoes for the development of the iced takeoff and landing strips in the region. Such airdromes were supposed to become a hub for the long-range bombers flying toward America. At that time they were the main means of the nuclear weapons delivery. TU-4 became the first Soviet carrier of this kind with a range of 5,000 kilometers. The range was important for the transport aircraft as well. Although TU-4 was soon substituted by a jet aircraft, it continued its career in the transport aviation. In 